they're not going to want this data, this information to be going to trial, to be going to court. See, besides the fact that they are like the perverts that um, are in the 80s movies um, with Revenge of the Nerds, like, that's really how these people are. I don't even want to get into that, but that's that's really how these people are. Like, do you see? Remember those those eighties movies? And the main thing that they were doing was um, using camera equipment and stuff and computers to spy on women in the movie. Every um, sequel was about that. Anyway. The main reason they're going to sell outside of court. See, how can you call me a whistleblower when I'm not the person that told anything? They illegally intercept the data out of my phone, which is against a couple of constitutional laws that I already know. So they broke laws to get data to label me as a whistleblower. But this is the drastic turn of events that these stupid, th these people broke laws. I didn't break any laws. Okay, from the beginning, that people were already legally violating my privacy by reading my notes, period. And um, I didn't even know that. But I'm writing in my note, this is around the time of election. Around the time of election, I was very deep in my spiritual journey where I was um, basically doing research on God, might as well say, because I was um, researching the different books of the Bibles, which are men names, most of them. And... Um, I end up watching a lot of YouTube videos because YouTube have a lot of good videos um, on this topic. So um, I came across some videos that were about prophecies and I start listening to the prophecies and getting, you know, um, researching them and making notes in my one notes about the different prophecies that they were the ones that happened before now that people had said. Um, and the prophecies now, because I'm really pretty much like a scientist and I was cross referencing them with like, um, Napoleon and, um, Nostradamus and, um, Tesla, his, um, visions of the, um, the, the wireless tower that we have now that when he said something about it back then, they were calling him crazy. Yeah, they were calling him crazy. Then they stole his invention. Then they, they legally, um, a organization legally published half of his inventions and got it, um, um, got them labeled as the inventor while he was alive, just stole his stuff in Congress because it was more than one person working against him. But they said he was crazy because he said something about a wireless tower. So I'm going from the prophecy, the two candies, basically a lesser of evil is in my experiment. What what am I what I'm finding out about these two prophecies? Now, I even made a note during the election that it's erased now, but it's gonna be retrievable from um one note Microsoft. I'm going to make get these notes retrievable. Um, but the note I wrote says something like, um, if Trump wins the election, um, I'm going to be a nun. Basically, um, they're thinking that, oh, I'm saying that the world is going to come to an end. They're... Um, you know, they need to win the other people. No, that's not what I was saying in my notes. When you're illegally reading my sh you, you, you're not in my, you're not me. 
But what I was saying is that the prophecy that I read determined that it would be this going on and I need to go real hard. Either way and go, I was going real hard with my faith, with however, whatever means I'm going to use to, to take to, um, take care of my family, which has been illegally sabotaged by um, law enforcement intel unit in these tech companies. Illegally sabotaged personally by tech companies because they have the, the power to have these um, companies calling you or the government to have the powers to have these companies. So it's going to be, those going to be the candidates. It's, it's not up to me to decide. I'm going to let y'all decide which one. This is one of the reasons. So, um, illegally sabotage my way of making money for my family. That's one of the pain and sufferings that I'm asking for in court. Because I would be doing right now, um, I would be halfway through making an app. I would be halfway um, through some extra learning that I need for um, some AI software that I would be doing. But I had to stop doing it to try to protect myself every day from these people that have determined I'm a whistleblower off of them committing a crime to me. I didn't tell nobody none of this stuff. Wasn't even sharing it with my husband. No, wasn't sharing it with no human. So anyway, the my my note basically saying that they in, intercepted my notes, interpret that wrong, was putting all type of advertisements up. It was um all type of stuff um going on on the news, whatever, all of that. The next note that I that I put in my one note, it wasn't the very next, but it was the the next note that they were concerned about, illegally intercepting my data in a one note file. We're gonna get into the reasons why why they were already intercepting my data prior prior to this reason. Now, they intercepted this note that I wrote at three or four o'clock in the morning. I wrote this note and. The note basically said, well, if Biden won the election, the tech companies cheated. And I went into some reasons of how how they were how they could be able to cheat. Just me going off of what I know as far as with tech, what I had already wrote and um, said to be true. What I what I um a hypotheses that I came up with have nothing to do with nobody else. It's not a true actual event, not a true statement. Like this is my opinion and my this is my private opinion that I'm not sharing with anyone. But I wrote this at three or four o'clock in the morning, and by seven or eight o'clock in the morning, some people had stormed into the White House. Some people stormed into the White House. And said that Biden cheated. Um, that the tech companies cheated for Biden and that's how he won. I had nothing to do with that. Let's let's go through the scenario. Did I know that people were illegally reading my my private notes out of a billion people that have Microsoft products? No. No, because if I would have known you was committing a crime, I would have been started this process. You don't want me reading your private notes. Y'all don't want me seeing y'all wrinkle balls. Yeah. Anyway, so they committed a crime. And three hours later, something happened at the White House that was um done by people who committed a crime illegally read my notes what they call it white right wing agenda left wing agenda i haven't even got that far yet because i don't care nothing about no politics don't care nothing about reading up on it i would have to find out who was the right wing 
and who is the left wing. But one of them peoples don't know. Seriously. One of them <laughs> read it and this happened at the White House. So being targeted, saying I whistleblowed, being targeted by big tech, by tech companies, either the ones that went in there that got mad, mad out there illegally, unlawfully reading my notes, committing a crime, got mad some some real dictator narcissistic stuff like you 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 at the top of a mob you 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 basically um um about to say al pacino but you basically like scarface you can do what you want you have already have lawyers police um engineers um you have these companies and corporations in your pocket or whatever where they where you can have them to do an attack on a person with corporate stalking where they pretty much um do it's it's a Rico charge and when I sum it up it's Rico activity. Just read whatever on racketeering that's what's being done to me. So everything that's included in the Rico charge is being done to me and my family. Everything in a racketeering charge is being done to me and my family. Because you illegally read my notes and you acted. You went into the White House or had people to go into the White House and um, broadcast that the tech companies cheated. On the other event side of that is that tech companies that were um, called cheated, that they cheated during the election. They cheated during the election. People are pointing the finger at them that they cheated, that they come together and do a hate campaign against me or they um, retaliate against me after reading my personal file. My personal data, intercepting my personal da data, retaliate against me because of actions of an, uh, of another human being that illeg illegally read my personal data. I want justice. My family want justice. Per evil. All energy being spent by other people doing that after unlawfully intercepting my data. Now, I can get into the reasons why they were intercepting my data, but I would just be basically going on about evil or jealous people just doing something to a person that they don't know or a person is just poor or whatever their reasoning is. That it's against the protected classes. But because I started a I started a, a small publishing company and created um accounts on platforms for this publishing company. And because a um, video data or another, maybe two, two videos on my account got views. And because the videos on my account got views, people in a industry, which would be the music industry, because a video on my account got views, people that has been in the music industry that are millionaires got jealous. And pay millions of dollars for me to, um, for my demise, because I had video, I had views on a music video. They were jealous. 
steal your un- unlawful interception of my data and interpret it, using it to retaliate against me because I have more views on a video, on one video. <laughs> you retaliate against me and cancel me or blackball me in a in an industry because you got jealous. That's the, the second reason for targeting. Crimes committed by these people in, in a racketeering fashion to have all these different events happen to me, to have people outside my house listening to me, um, to have people watching me Waiting for me to go outside and do a noise noise campaign. Now the third reason that I could be I could have already been targeted and being um illegally watched. It's part of that that video um just getting views. Illegally being watched um, before election, they were voting on a flag to be taken down. A athlete that was going to a um, NFL team, this stuff is way bigger than me. I'm just a regular person, a regular um, housewife that has an account on platforms of a publishing company where I'm getting emails as part of a pu- other publishing companies, which it, other publishing companies mean labels. These list small music labels and other people. So I'm I'm an account on there, a small publishing account. This is just a regular business that doesn't have any um, net worth, zero net worth. This is what kind of company this is, a publishing company with zero net worth. I'm getting emails from other publishing companies in the same industry to share a video. To share a video about an event that's going on. What what harm is it to share a video that says... um, we're against slavery or we're against um, people that target other races. We're against people that want to want to spread hate. We, we're we against hate. I'm against hate. I'm, I'm, I'm against that. So what's, what, what harm is it being against hate and being for love? What harm is that? But I guess these people are evil because it's really not up to me to, to determine why they're evil. So I'm getting videos for from other publishers in a industry to share a video about something that's going on. Now, on top of this, a, a young guy that's from the same city that my husband is from, a young guy that's supposed to be going to an NFL team, share a post about getting the flag removed. He used his um his his leadership in a sport to make a statement that he's against hate. And I said, hey, I'm against hate too. So I, I said, I don't want the flag up there either. That's my own personal opinion using what freedom of speech and amendment. So either the active president that was in the office prior to the election, which is Trump, is signed executive order to get me put on this list because, oh, after, after the flag was taken down, she got the flag taken down. How did, my, how did just my page get the flag taken down when I have zero likes? 
on any post on this publishing account that's on a platform, on the Facebook platform, I have zero likes on hundreds of posts. I have one to two views on hundreds of posts. How could my one little account with zero likes and two views get a flag taken down? This is by the algorithm and the um, analytics of um, Mark Zuckerberg Facebook. This is by the, the, the these analytics. Two views and zero likes. Who am I influencing? So, a executive order signed by Trump that um, to, for me to be watched because I'm I'm influencing black people to riot or do stuff or something. That I don't take part in. I don't agree with. I, I've never registered for a gun. Because I, I, I hate guns. Um, I've never been to a protest. Because I, I mean. That's uh, that's just not me. That's not something I. I, I would really want to do. Not for no other reason. I think I can touch people in other ways. Than stand out there. And. Don't do this. Don't do this. That's for anything. Don't do this. Don't do... How How am I going to affect something? I'm talking about me personally. I don't care what other people do with themselves. But that's not going to... I can, I can actually move the crowd in, in a whole nother way. Meaning that I, I, I can do something positive that don't have anything to do with that. I can spread the love, not the hate. Like what these people are doing. My family deserve justice i'm getting justice for whatever dumb reason that you're using to target me and call me a whistleblower because you're mad that i said that you cheated the big tech companies that you think that you can use your mob power um like racketeering and orchestrate a hate crime, which is everything that is in racketeering. A hate campaign is everything that is done in racketeering. Want justice. Now, guaranteed it's going to be still outside of court. Because I'm, I'm going to make sure that, that, that the people, which since I'm targeted, it's not just a group of people. It's not just a little handful of people that this can happen to. This proves that this can happen to anyone for whatever narcissistic reason that they want to do it. For whatever reason, just because I have money and power, I'm going to do it. That's that's the reason for doing it. Anytime you make them mad, they're dictators. Off with their head. Anytime you make them mad, like, they don't that sound like something straight from the UK, something straight from NATO, something... Straight that a power of a, a a kingdom will have a king or a queen. Soon as you make them mad, off with their head. Because they have money and power. Not because you did it, did anything wrong. I'm not orchestrating the kidnap or the murder of small children or children drinking their blood. Um sex trafficking, selling women, selling data, orchestrating hits, military shipment, 
planes, military planes, bringing in kilo tons of drugs. I'm not doing any of those things in the world. You not you you can never convince me that I don't need to be here. You can never convince me that my life is not valid, that I'm doing something so bad that I don't need to be here. You can never convince me of that shit. They're orchestrating the murder and, and kidnapping of kids. They're orchestrating major drugs to be distributed. They're orchestrating major crimes. I'm not orchestrating any crimes. I was only trying to make a small living, $40,000 um, salary of working 40 hours a week or more, whatever. To, to feed my family, to let my little girl be in um, um, things that she want to be in, dance, ballet, stuff like that. That's the only thing that I was trying to do. They took that away from me because they want to financially sabotage breaking a constitutional law. They want to financially sabotage you, your life. Just because they have the, the power to. Because they're orchestrating the kidnapping murder of children. They're orchestrating um, the sale of um, kilotons of, of drugs to be distributed. They're selling data. They're doing every crime imaginable on, the, on a major level. It's no way that you can ever convince me that my, my, my life is is invalid for any small sin or something. I can't even think of anything that I'm I'm doing bad enough on a level. Nothing. And you think you're gonna continue to target me? My life is valid. What you're really doing is gonna be exposed. Since I'm not doing anything. What I'm going to just be doing is exposing the crimes that you're committing to continue to target me. So when it boils down to it, a hate campaign is every single thing in a racketeering charge. Every activity under racketeering is done in a hate a hate campaign.